Hi there, it's Adam Roberts at Roberts Pianos Houston near Hobby Airport. You can find us on Google Maps. We have a Wyman. It's designed by Americans and it's, they worked in the boarding factory which closed in about 2001. I'm not quite sure exactly when, but it closed around 2001. And this is the result of some boarding workers going to China and producing a piano. And um, it's actually a really nice piano. I think it's a nice piano, but um, uh, it's, uh, it's got a lovely tone. The cabinet's very elegant, kind of semi-modern uh, console style. It's, there's not really anything wrong with the cabinet. It was very well kept by the previous owner. There's a few little small everyday use scratches on the lid here, which maybe we can try and buff a little bit, but um, they might still be there a little bit, but um, nothing major, no cracks or some minor, minor cosmetics um, things really. And the tone is very mellow. That's a nice mellow. Mellow sound. Um, let's have a look on the inside. I know we've done some regulation already on the piano, but um, it came in very close to factory regulation, so we didn't have to do too much. Let's take the lid off, the front off. <laughs> and they've designed it nicely. They've This uh, hammer here is because the Celeste Ron needs to go up a little bit, but that's, that's come out. We'll put that back in real quick. That's right, right there. So it has a Celeste rail on it, which um, I took off because I was tuning it, which is probably why that happened. But which is nice for scales. It's quieter than if you take it off. Just nice practice feature. Uh, They've designed it, the foreboard looks like an old American scissor system, but it's actually pops out like the Charles Walter does, so it's very easy to take off, which is nice for technicians. Anything that makes it easier to work for the technician on a piano is good because the technician is going to be more likely to do better work because they have to re there's less resistance from the instrument. So that's a nice feature. Um, all of the parts are in good condition, the back checks, and all the leathers and the tapes, nothing's brittle, nothing's breaking, which is good, which is great. <coughs> and um, dampers are good. Nice tone, very nice tone. The dampers are quite long in the treble, which is nice. Um, quite a long damper, which is good, cuts off very well. Um, what, what else can I say? We, we've regulated the let off, so it's a fact, you know, it's a, as close to spec as we can get it. Um, and then the back checks. We always do that to all the pianos. So that's good. Um, the action's in great shape, nothing wrong with the action whatsoever. Um, these, these brackets, um, I wonder if they're entirely steel or they're a composite which is the only, only question I have about this piano is whether those brackets are, are steel or iron, sorry, or whether they are um, aluminium or whatever they are, or if they're composite. Composite's not the best, but in terms of overall sound design, it's excellent. I love the tone. Let's do a breakpoint test. So if you're buying a piano, one of the key features of a good design is the bridges where the strings cross from one string diagonal to another. If the tone is the same, that means it's been well designed. So we'll test that. It's not, not bad really. magic really when you think about it because um, the strings are going from one bridge to another so the bridge connects the strings to the soundboard another nice feature of this uh, 
they put some metal here to stop this from warping with humidity which never really happens i've never seen it happen in the piano really it had a couple of times you see it kind of get real tense because the wood's warped this will stop it from moving over time some metal and then um the bridge the what's what's going on with the bridge here which for me is magic is that you're going from the bass the very bottom a note going up to the end of the bridge and then this note goes to this note here on the bridge so it jumps all the way from there to there which is amazing so that's it's well designed obviously um nothing wrong with the pedals all good down there bridge is not cracked or anything so this story story behind this piano is that the the daughter of the owner went to study music at Oxford University and now she's a teaching, I think she did a doctorate somewhere in America in a prestigious Harvey League school. And now she went to teach somewhere in America music, which is interesting. Being from Oxford, that's pretty interesting for me. Let's put this back together again. Let's just listen to it again. Yeah, it's a really nice, really nice piano. Very well designed. You're welcome to come to try it here. You can book an appointment on our website, rollerspianoshouston.com. Uh, you'll find the appointment uh, form there and we'll be happy to have the showroom just for you and chat about pianos and what you're looking for. Thanks for watching this video and if you want to come visit us, please do. We'll be happy just to answer any questions too. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you here soon. Thank you.